Welcome to another quick review. Today we are going to finally look at Great Goldran. Here is Sky Goldran. So we have Goldran with Sorokagi hooked to the back there. So we're going to basically take Leon Kaiser, break him apart, and attach him to um, Sky Goldran here to create Great Goldran. So. Put him off the side, and here is Leon Kaiser. What we're going to do is basically just break this guy totally apart. So we're going to start off with taking Kaiser out. Oh, little gold pieces we're going to need. Those come off there. Just hook to the back right here. Take him out. We can get him prepped real quick. Don't take too much. Gonna fold his legs down and um, rotate them this way, and then that's it. So he's prepped and ready. Put him off to the side. Close up that. This part just pops right off. So you take the line head. Let's fold this hands back in, separate the torso with the legs, just pull it apart, this will turn into his bow, quite nice, put that off to the side real quick, now pull his legs apart, and then we're going to get these parts off. We're going to fold his feet together, push that together. You can actually leave that on top, which is fine. And now he's going to, there's a groove here. It's going to peg in right there, or actually it's going to go in right there. So, to my knowledge. The other side. Ah, oh, it's the other side. It's the opposite foot <laughs> that goes in there. So you're going to take that, it's going to go in there. Pop it in. There's one side. Same thing to the other. Push that. There we go massive feet. Put those off to the side. Construct his bow real quick. There's a little handle in there. We're going to on his feet. On that. And there. There we go. There is his bow. We'll take his tail. And we're just gonna plug that in right here. So put that off to the side since we're not gonna need it in a second here. Alright, let's go and take Sky Gold Ram back. See if I can get them all in the shot here. Really nice fig. I've only um, I've only had this fig for um, or oh, these figures for maybe a week and a half, two weeks so far. And this is the third time I've put him together, and it is really sweet looking. So we're gonna take his feet. See the little tabs right there. They're gonna connect to the inner part of his foot. down. Kind of reminds me of um, Victory Leo forming with um, Star Saber. So now I got some height on him. Now we're going to remove his sword. 
And there's actually a spot on the back, either side has holes that you can just put his, put his sword to the back of Sorokagi there. All right. This part, one last thing we need to do, unfold this, put that up, it's on top. He's gonna plug in right here. Right, there we go. Would have been nice if they could have done a little bit more. I mean, he's huge, but um, we'll, we'll see at the end here. Take the line head, and that's got two little spots right here that's going to actually connect to these little spots right there, I guess. So, just covers up Duran real quick. There we go. Now we're going to take these two little gold bits that we had, and there's two holes right Here, that they're just going to fit right into. There we go. So now his head is got a little more depth, I guess, or horns and gold and whatnot. So cool looking. Um, now we can just start plugging in the weapons. Take a sword right here. Take his staff from Leon Kaiser. Plug it in right there. Plug it in the other way. There we go. I'll just fit right into his hand. And then we take the massive bow. You take his arm. Now we're going to rotate it to the side. Unfortunately, that's going to hinder the articulation. I mean, he can still go up and down, but he won't have the elbow joint anymore. But this thing's massive. I mean, and you can fit a missile in there and whatnot. Plug it in. There's the handle right there. And there he. He's got his bow. Huge fig, um, bulky, barely fits in my shot here. Um, especially if I um, put the wings on. I'll put some picks at the end to compare them with some other larger figs that I have. So um, yeah, really nice looking um, fig. Uh, as far as combiners are concerned, as far as um, brave toys, transformers robots I mean this is really sweet the one little gripe that I would have is the fact that let me put his wings down a little bit since he's huge here his feet stick out considerably here which kind of it's like he's on like skis or something and it would have been nice if they could have incorporated a little bit better and maybe taken some of this extra parts pieces and maybe put it in the arms or whatnot to make them just look a little bit bigger but other than that I mean you have the missiles here and the shoulders you have the missile launcher and the actual his bow huge sword staff um, pop out the knee cannons he's got the cannons down here I mean this is just one um, badass fig <laughs> there's no other um, description. I mean, this is really sweet. I'm glad I picked him up. Um, if you have the opportunity to pick up this guy, I totally would. Um, there's little, little, little gripes. I mean, like I said in the, my previous reviews of the individual guys, you know, there's a little bit of wear that you can get on the chrome, and then there's, you know, oily residue or fingerprints I can get on there. But other than that, he, he is really nice. Everything about him, it just reminds me of like G1 Transformers. I mean, to the feet, kind of reminded me of like Victory Saber, to the wings of like Predaking. And obviously this part, Predaking, you know, really nice. So I'll put some pics at the end. This has just been a quick look at Great Goldren. Um, thanks for watching and um, 
Stay tuned for some more.